Right, hi guys. I am going to change over my headlights to the HID projector angel eyes. Um, on it, GU Patrol. This is it. This is a new kit that I'm going to be installing. So it comes with the full wiring, your little modular ballast doodads, plus your globes. Um, coming up. So. Yeah, let me change it. They already do have them in there, but they're obviously sealed. So you have to unseal the lens to uh, to fit it in. So at the moment, my ones don't have a glow. One of the globes are blown and some of the LEDs have stopped on the original one. So instead of fixing them, just replace them, they're cheap enough. All right, start making, making track. Right. Here's the here's the, uh, the headlight out already. A um, couple of wires coming through the back. You can see that I've already removed the globe because the globe was gone in this one. And there's the existing angel lights inside now. I have already started to pull it apart because I tried repairing this one, but I couldn't. That's why I had to buy new ones. Um, so what you want to do is you pry this apart. Now this has been apart before to put these originally in. And they were fortunately enough to glue this lens back in. Otherwise, just a couple of screws on either side of it. Usually holds this face lens in. Then there's a rubber seal in behind it. But, um, yeah, someone's siliconed this globe in. and It's a real pain in the back backside to try and get it apart. Yeah, there's a keyway then. It's like a locking pin with a locking nut you just have to undo. Probably prior before that, you've obviously got to pull the seal apart as I was explaining earlier, which I already have. Here's a new one. I'm going to do is pull this bracket off here so we can get the nut off so they can go back in the same way. This bracket is what holds the halogen line in. Let's grab my impact driver. Yeah. I put the little section here down the bottom so when you're looking at it that'll be on the bottom instead of the top. It just doesn't quite look right. Something like that. The wires will come through the gap on the bottom of there. This is a series four, by the way. Do you? Cool. I'm gonna feed your locating locking ring on. Make sure set of hands would probably be pretty helpful. Okay. Now put that little bracket back on which holds the white globe in position. Maybe locate something like that. Should locate in there and you put the screws back in. Uh, what I'm gonna use is just normal roof and gutter silicon, just to seal the lens back. So yeah, they just stop any water from getting in there. I don't do that many river crossings, but when I do, I want to be 100% sure that no water gets inside your headlight, otherwise it won't come back out. Not without pulling it all apart, that's for sure. Now we're going to remove the module, 
which is this part. This drives pretty much most of it. And then it plugs into your headlight loom there. So, um, yeah, I'll disconnect all this and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. All right, got the new control module in. The wiring's not the prettiest. Here's the, uh, the headlights, so it plugs into your headlights there. Here's your LEDs for the front. That is for the um, pop-down solenoid that comes in it. And then that goes onto your ballast, plugs into your ballast, and then your ballast plugs into your headlight. All right, headlights are all fitted back in. Let's uh, start it up and see what we got. Should come on with the ignition. <laughs> 